clearly I consider the Trump administration a danger to the world, but I regard it as a purely temporary phenomenon that will disappear in 2020. We are looking at some footage of Sleepy Joe Biden, who was answering questions from the press. Obviously, they were preset questions until he scooted out of the room, waited a full five seconds, and then he poked his head back in to answer one more question. So let's take a look and see what happens. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Five full seconds to get that last question in, but he did make certain that his head was just poking out the door while his body was able to kind of escape getting out of the room just in case. Because, you know, Sleepy Joe, he's got to have an exit strategy. According to Jen Psaki, they recommend that he does not take impromptu questions. Last week, we heard from the White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, who said President Biden taking impromptu reporter questions was not something that she recommended. Apparently, he just can't take the stress of being the president and taking questions. <laughs> to answer the first question, <laughs> I'm laughing too. They actually, I... Well, look, I mean, he has made clear that... Uh, uh, The answer is, I believe... President, will you retaliate against Russia for this latest ransomware attack? We're looking closely at that issue. Do you think Putin is testing you? No. He Vladimir Putin, though, has an interesting take. Vladimir seems to think that he is just not quite all there. He was referencing the time Joe had a Zoom meeting and just left his mask on his face. And Vladimir was wondering if Joe thought he really could get the coronavirus while being on a Zoom call. But uh, maybe Sleepy thought that. Who knows? The важнейшее в контексте социально-экономического развития страны существенно ограничить к 2050 году накопленный объем чистой эмиссии в нашей стране. Рассмотреть возможность Преференции даже для зарубежных. Хотел бы еще раз подчеркнуть, что Российская Федерация искренне заинтересована в активизации международного сотрудничества с тем, чтобы продолжить путь. President Trump also has a very interesting take on why Joe Biden seems to be having these mental glitches. What do you think is Joe Biden's strongest feature as a competitor in politics? Well, I would have said experience, but he doesn't really have experience because I don't think he remembers what he did yesterday. So how is that experience? He's been there a long time. He was never known as a smart person. Pick one good thing. Uh, okay, what is his weakest point? I can't think? tell you. I mean, I'm really serious. He's got many. I could talk about weak points all day long. First of all, he's not mentally sharp enough to be president. Biden doesn't know, I mean, he doesn't know he's alive. It'll be interesting to see what goes on next in this ongoing saga in the United States of America. Take care, patriots. God bless. We'll see you guys next time. There's an estimation of somewhere between 700 billion and a trillion, 300 million billion dollars. If we hire up more IRS agents and we go after those folks who are avoiding taxes at the top end. The American people overwhelmingly support what I'm doing. Where people are beginning to look and say, whoa, whoa.